he's like, hello, what? Sorry. Yeah, well, this is this, this is kind of an, an example of what I was saying about when Rob's in that spot, he's supposed to have a hand that connects with that kind of board. Those right. are the kind of hands he should be playing to a race. As it happens, Rob's playing any two. So where Ace Jack would normally be a, a kind of give up on that board. You have to see back. You have to see back just because he's got so many garbage hands that have no equities like that. It's a very valid point. So it's, a, it's adjustments. It, it's almost weird. You think you think in a uh, in a loose game like this, your 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 key adjustment <laughs> is to go tighter, and it is. But once you get in these heads-up spots, it's then to go looser again. Ronnie's in. Straddle's going to be expensive. Four, two, 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 six, four, nine. Rob, change, please. So what is that? There is a four eight. Yes. In terms of straddles, yeah, and then put it raised to 2k. Oh, of course. And got it raised to 2k. Sam with a gut of Rob, top two. Here we go, five for action. Well, Sam and Rob both got hearts in their hand as well, so for five of hearts, it'd be fun. Ankin, it is a biggish bet for the pot. And I think, yes. Now, Sam can have a decision here. You can That's definitely check raise the spot. And sure enough, he does. <laughs> Which is the beginning of a whole lot of hassle. Yeah, I think Rob will cool here. Or let Sam hang himself. There aren't many value hands that Sam can have, so Rob will probably think he's bluffing. Maybe have a hand like Ace Ten, King Ten. If it's eight months. Four five, Ace Four, Ace Five, hand like that. Forty K in the pot. If it don't come a five, Sam's gonna have. Oh, the five of hearts. The car we wanted to see. <laughs> You're good. The nuts you with a flush good. draw against two good. pair and a flush draw. And this could be the one. By the way, I mean, Sam has been trying to lock Rob up since, you know, probably since like January. But, um, so barring a heart 10 or 3. I know, are, are you surprised that Rob just called him? I think he just thinks he's got such a lock on the hand, there's no point in raising. If it comes a heart, if it comes a heart. Yeah. Yeah. So how much Sam decides to go for here? I mean, I mean, will he be aware that he can bet big here? What, what, you well, know, what's the, what should influence his decision? Well, so Rob's raised his hand free, so and he's it's called a check raise and called a turn bet. So I'm guessing Sam would assume he has something like an overpay or Ace Ten. Sixty thousand. Know, Rob, yeah, snap calls and that's that. I mean, it was a reasonable bet, but it, it, it certainly wasn't ginormous. No, it, Sam's probably expecting Rob to have more one pair hands than anything else on a 10 3 deuce, 5 9 run out. You know, barring 10 9, obviously, would be the, the most likely two pair. 200,000, 208,200 in this pot. I don't offhand remember a bigger pot. That's, yeah, that's our biggest pot tonight, yeah. I think it is. Uh, I'm desperately unlucky for Rob. The drink the heart as well, the heart you get all the money. The, the two biggest pots wow. tonight have been played by Rob and Sam head up. Yeah, I've got two pairs, but he just told me the, the hand history. Wow. Six sides. Sam's a lucky right? boy. Yeah. Check raise. Now well, the good news is Rob, your food's arrived. <laughs> the uh, the <laughs> five was the key card. card well, yeah, the hands they played as well. The big game at King's Casino and uh, 100k. He's starting to think he might actually get even. Yeah, nah, you won't do it, Sam. <laughs> Boy, that really quieted him up down. Rob's wrapping up the mic. I don't know if he's quitting or a, a 